Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something a bit more serious today, which is the environment. Now, I've seen a few videos recently about consumerism and booktube. Often the environment isn't a topic that people discuss and I think this is a big problem. Our physical books, which we so love, have to come from somewhere, don't they? And I don't think we question where they come from enough. I'd like to start with a little story. I was following this one booktuber on Instagram. She's quite famous in the booktube world and I had to unfollow her recently. Now, I had to unfollow her because she was posting Instagram stories, which is fair enough, fair enough. I like watching quite a few Instagram stories, but she was buying so much plastic that it really upset me. She likes to go to cafes, for example, and get these drinks in these plastic containers probably once, two, three times a day. I feel like she is putting her identity before the environment. She cares more about how she's being portrayed through her Instagram, basically. At least that's what I feel like she is doing. So, back to booktube and books then. I was watching one of the bookmarked live streams. Um, so this is done by Hayley, Zoe and Hannah. And they had a special guest on that week, which was Cindy. And I really like Cindy, I think she's very funny. Uh, and they talked about the environment in that video, in that stream. And I thought their arguments, frankly, were a bit rubbish. The main argument that booktubers have about books is that they could be doing worse. They could be doing worse for the environment. And I really hate that argument, not just for books and the environment, but for anything, because you can literally say that about anything you do, about any hobby you have, you could be doing worse. And I think it's just a really bad mentality to have. I could be doing worse, so therefore I'm going to forget that this problem exists. No, we should be thinking, I can do better. What can I be doing to be better? Anyway, Cindy said in the end, I'm paraphrasing because I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'm sorry if I get this wrong. Something along the lines of, the reason people have this argument about um, new books and the environment is because they just want something else to not like about you or not like about your purchasing because maybe they can't afford them themselves. And I just think, when I heard that, I just, my heart melted a little bit, not in a good way. Um, it just made me very sad, actually, because it's like people just don't care. How many booktubers do you know, for example, who've talked about the environment, the big YouTubers? I can't think of anyone. And when I do think of people talking about the environment, it's like, yeah, could be doing something worse. No! I'm going to make a bigger video. I say bigger, what does that even mean? I'm going to make a longer video about the environment and books. Uh, more informative, I think, because I feel like a lot of us are in the dark about it. Um, I've done a bit of research already, uh, which has been quite informative, so I would like to share it in some capacity through booktube and through youtube itself so what is the point in this video the point in this video is just to say there is a problem here that we are not addressing and it's time to address it this video is basically saying there is a problem i'm going to make a video to say how we can resolve this problem we need to preserve the environment because obviously if the environment is terrible then we'll all die and you know, it's in our bodies, in our genes to want to survive. That's the whole reason why we're still here. It's because the people thousands of years ago really wanted to survive and here we are. There we go. So my final point really is just to think, how are my book buying habits affecting the environment? And they might be doing minimal damage, if any damage at all. But I think it's just worth thinking about in the first place. One thing I'd like to do this week, it was proposed by Dottie James, if you know who she is. She's quite famous on YouTube for writing poetry, performing poetry, that kind of thing. She's doing a plastic free week starting from tomorrow, from Monday, the 23rd of September. And I'm going to do that too. I'm going to see if I can do it because I know, I know I'm not doing the best that I could be in terms of plastic. And I ask you to join me. It's just a challenge to see if 
you can do better. And it's not like, oh, you're buying loads of plastic, you're a horrible person. It's not that kind of thing. It's just that we should all strive to have less of an impact on the environment, I think. This video might seem really horrible and me just judging everyone, but I know that I myself, I know that I have a lot to improve when it, it comes to recycling, when it comes to the environment, and how many times have I said environment? If you want to re-watch this video, you can keep count, and I'll probably say it about 50 million times. So yeah, it's important, it's important. Just think about it. I've probably said that about a million times now. Keep your eyes out for that video because oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time on it. I think it's the biggest, again, biggest. What does that mean? The largest, that's the same word. That's just a synonym. It's going to be the video that I have spent the most time on for YouTube. So I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm hoping people will enjoy it and find it good and informative. I don't know how to sign this off. Be green. That's a terrible ending. Uh, anyway, I hope you didn't think I'm a really judgmental, horrible person. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.